Good to see you again. Good to see you. Quite the resume you have, my friend. Thank you. Congratulations, you know, this film included. As a producer, and I asked this, you know, question, uh, what do they hope fans get out of something? Everybody asks that question. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to turn it around. Okay. I want to know what you get out of a film like this. Well, when you do it well, the audience reaction to it really feeds your, it's the air for us. You know, so when you get a film right, it's really spectacular. In this particular film, I always wanted to go to Machu Picchu. And so sharing that experience with the audience and the audience seeing that, it was really meaningful for me because it is one of the wonders of the world. And I had never gone and I got to go and then, you know, really deliver it in a really cinematic way. So it, it's the satisfaction you get from the experience, me too. You know, I'm laughing at Pete Davidson being Mirage. I mean, he crushed it. Yeah. You know, so I'm I'm the audience member too when I walk into the dark theater. Besides going to Machu Picchu, what else makes this different than like previous films that we've seen in this well, franchise? Well, the Maximals obviously are right. new news and, and they are a great set of new characters and, and it's really fun to have animals now with cars, if you would, you know. Um, also though, I think the audience is gonna really relate to both the character arcs of all three characters, really, both humans and Optimus, but we've never done a robot character arc. And I think that's one of the really cool things in this movie is that, you know, one of the advantages of being in 1994 is Optimus is not fully the leader yet that he's going to be in 2007 in the first Bay of Picture, right? So you actually get a moment of, I think, uh, we've had people who've described this, like, they're first, they're like, is that Optimus? That's not exact, right? And then by the end, you're like, yes, that's that's who we remember there. So in a sense, you go on the ride of Optimus learning how to be a better leader. How massive of a production is a film like this? I It looks, you have to find the biggest screen possible. Yes, you have to. It just looks massive on screen. Well, and it, you know, depending on which Transformers movie is, we're around 3,000 people that work on it. <laughs> So when you think about it that way, it's really big. Um, and especially when you go to a foreign land like Peru, where you're bringing a lot of people in, the, the complexity of managing that is one of the challenges.